What's, What's up, guys? guys? This is your boy D. And this is G. And this is the 2020 Pod- Elastio podcast. So uh, we it's been a minute since we did one of these videos, so we apologize, but we're trying to trying to get it get us. Second. We're trying to get it started for y'all, trying to take this seriously, some of us at least. Trying to keep up with it. It's, um, it's a lot to keep up with. Yeah, it is a lot to keep up with. We're doing the UFC 246 <laughs> predictions for this Saturday, Conor McGregor versus Cowboy Cerrone. This is going to be a really good fight. We also got uh, Raquel Pennington versus and Holly Holmes. Holly Holm. And then we also have Pettis, who's one of my favorite fighters, and uh, he's facing Ferreira. Uh, I've seen a few fights of Ferreira, but I definitely, if I'm going to go ahead and be a betting man, I'm going to say that Pettis is going to take it. I'm going to say that Holm is going to take it. And my money is on Cerrone. Um, well, I like your first two picks. I think Holly Holmes is definitely a solid f- fighter. Um, Pennington is also a really good fighter, but um, I think Holly Holmes, just with her K1 boxing, and everything, it's just uh, it's gonna be too much for um, Pennington to handle. I think Holly Holmes is gonna take it probably in the second round, if not the first. Anthony Pettis, um, I haven't seen uh, the other dude fight very much. Ferreira. Yeah, Ferreira. So um, I'm gonna say Anthony Pettis, and then um, for the main event, I got uh, Conor McGregor winning in the third round by t- uh, technical knockout. Yeah, I think the biggest. Um... The biggest difference in and uh, that fight is just going to be the elusiveness of McGregor. He's very elusive. He changes levels, and he, 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 for for what I would say is his advantage is that he handles distance very well. He's very good at getting in the pocket and out of the pocket very fast. Whereas Cerrone isn't very, he's not an elusive fire. He's more of like a brawler. He stands upright. He stands, you know, with his guard up. He stands upright, and he'll bang with you. But McGregor doesn't fight like that, and so it'll be really interesting to see um, what happens. I know Cowboy is uh, not in his prime as far as the way he looks and moves, but you can't count his power out and do his hard. Yeah, he hits hard. I think it's a good thing to point out that Cowboy Cerrone, even though they're fighting in the same weight class, he's a bigger dude. Well, yeah, they're going up to 170 as well. So that's the big advantage that Cowboy has, in my opinion. Uh, like when McGregor went up to 170 for the Diaz fight, um, that, I mean, you could you could argue that, um, that that's why Diaz uh, won. But um, it's just an advantage because McGregor doesn't walk around at 170. He's gaining weight to... To go up to Cowboy's um, natural walking around weight. Uh, yeah, but then you could also say he doesn't have to worry about the weight cut. Well, yeah, but neither does Cerrone, really, because I mean Cerrone has fought at 155, but his problem is that he can't consistently hit 155. He has trouble making weight, so that's why they got 170, because that's his natural weight. Mm-hmm. McGregor just has to to eat a bunch, you know. So we'll see how that affects the power, because. Uh, Usually when people, someone's at their walking, their natural weight, that's when they have their most power. Uh, and so uh, we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, and also McGregor, he hasn't fought in like a year and a half. This is like his comeback to the yeah. UFC. Um, and um, he's one of those fighters that he continues to train even when he's not fighting. He, uh, he keeps up with his training, so I don't think that he's going to be any sluggish or anything like that um, coming into this fight. And I just think that he's a superior fighter for this um, Cowboy Cerrone is also a great competitor, but I think that he's uh, no no uh, disrespect, but I think he's past his prime. I think that uh, last couple of fights that he got knocked out were pretty bad, and um, unless Cowboy Cerrone somehow catches him with the, that leg kick to the head, um, then I think McGregor's going to win. But like I said, I, I call Conor McGregor winning it in the third round. There's also the factor of if they go to the ground or not. So yeah. forget the stand up in general. As far as jiu-jitsu goes, Cowboy has, uh, in my opinion, uh, a heavy advantage um, just off of jiu-jitsu alone because McGregor's losses have come by submission and a lot of Cerrone's wins have came by submission. And just like the overall skill, you know, people from someone coming from a jiu-jitsu background and watching you know, MMA, you can definitely see a lot more of what they're actually doing. Yeah, the level's a lot the higher. The level's a lot higher, yeah. yeah the, the skill level, you can see the transitions, the escapes, um, and the counters to certain positions. Uh, I've seen Donald 
Cerrone escape a lot of positions and uh, and advance into submissions uh, that were really really uh, profound and not easy to do in a very high level jiu-jitsu. So um, I think I think if it goes to the ground, that that definitely could be a factor. Uh, I'd like to see Cerrone win, um, but I, I also wouldn't mind McGregor winning. So yeah. since it's his first fight back. Uh, so those are our predictions for UFC 246 this Saturday. Uh, I think it's the 17th. Mm, 18th. 18th. Something like that. It's this Saturday. It's this Saturday yeah. yeah. So um, uh, you guys go and watch it and let us know what you think. If we are right on the money, then um, I guess we know a little bit, a little bit of inside information. So, so that's gonna be it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we're gonna try to post more of these, you know, every single week. Uh, I'm definitely gonna try to post at least once, maybe two a week if I'm lucky. Um, now that uh, I I got all my stuff, you know, one in one space, it's just a lot easier to make these videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to go to the gym and lift something heavy. Peace.